Welcome to Iron Hand Tech Channel. Today we will go through a very interesting recycling process that you cannot imagine. First of all, to make this video experience more interesting, let's predict the results of this process. Answer this question, in your opinion, what can scrap iron be recycled into? A. Construction steel B. Cast iron cooking pot C. Harrow disc Keep the answer in mind and watch the video until the end to find out the answer. Here we are in a metal recycling plant. The environment is quite primitive and the workers often lack proper protective equipment. Unlike plastic bag scrap, iron and steel scrap is much larger and heavier. Therefore, sorting and collecting it requires a lot of effort and time. The first step in the metal recycling process is scrap metal collection. In Pakistan, a significant portion of metal waste is imported. Pakistan imported 455,000 tons of ferrous scrap from the United States last year. Workers will sort the scrap, cutting them into pieces of suitable size for the recycling process. Raw metal is a common type of waste in the industrial production process, including steel plates, damaged or unusable products, scrap from the production process, etc. The metal pieces are sent to a furnace. Unlike other recycling processes, the iron is not melted. It is heated to a temperature that allows it to be flattened around 700, 900 degrees Celsius. The red hot iron bars are fed into the press. Here in an extremely manual manner, the iron bars are pressed repeatedly on the press to achieve the appropriate flatness. This can be called a hot rolling process. For those who don't know, when iron is red hot, its crystal structure changes, making the iron more flexible and easily deformed under the influence of external forces. This drum continuously rotates and presses the red hot iron bar into a flat square iron plate. I wonder what kind of superior skill these workers have that keeps them from getting burned while working. The iron sheets are now fed into the cutting machine. They are cut into round iron sheets. Once again, they were put into a furnace. This machine made a square-shaped hole in the center of the iron. Now you guessed it, it was Captain America's shield. Of course not, I'm just kidding. Uh, these iron plates are polished, heated again, and given another hole, this time on the outer edge. Now they are polished again, then they are painted with several layers of paint. You can probably guess what this process is all about. And here is our finished product. These are the Hero Discs. Let me personify this harrow. From a distance, the harrow looked like a giant monster moving slowly. A series of shiny round disks rotated regularly, creating streaks of soil that were thrown up and then dropped down. With each rotation of the disks, the hard surface soil seemed to be torn up and broken into pieces. A little closer, we could see more clearly how the disks were plowing the soil. They cut into the ground, crushing the hard clumps of soil, stirring them up and down. Each time the disc rotated, the soil was loosened a little more. The grooves created were neat, like lines drawn on a painting.
isn't that interesting? You may not believe it, but this manual steel recycling process can reduce CO2 emissions by up to 70%. It's great that our workers not only create new products, but also contribute to protecting the environment. Facilities like these contribute to the local economy by creating jobs and reducing the need to import raw materials, as well as tackling the widespread waste problem. So recycling metal is not only about turning waste into valuable resources, but also protecting the environment, conserving energy, and supporting the economy. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it interesting, please like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next interesting videos.